watching this video, you guys have completed the Newton's First Law worksheet and you guys are wanting to find out your answers. It's really important that you guys watch this, so hopefully you are, um, because this is going to help you guys prepare and see if you're on the right track, because your guys' assessment that you have later this week is going to be a direct reflection of what you guys are doing in these modeling tools. So if you guys understand how to do these modeling tools, your assessment should be really easy. Okay, if you guys watched the video and you're working from home, I've already done uh, slide six for you, which was the example, and slide seven, which was our first problem problem number one. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the modeling stuff. I've already done those two, so I'm going to go ahead and start on slide eight, uh, which is problem number two. So for this one, we're doing the after force. So it was moving to the right with a large force. We applied a force, excuse me, a large velocity, and we applied a force in the opposite direction. So that means it's going to slow down. So now it's going to be moving to the right with a medium velocity. Okay. Number three on slide nine, we are going to be doing the before force. These ones are a little bit more difficult um, just to kind of visualize what's happening. So I always just kind of double check these, like make sure your little sentence here makes sense after you guys are done with it. So what we know is that we had a velocity to the right for our after force um, of a medium, so medium velocity, and our force is also to the right. Okay, so that means that if it's moving to the right and our force was to the right, we probably had it turned around and moved in the opposite direction. Okay, so if we look at this one, uh, this is a large force here, so that means we must have been moving at a small velocity. So if we can just double check this as a word sentence, all right, it's moving to the left with the small velocity, we apply a large force in the opposite direction, so it's going to turn it around and move it with a medium velocity to the right. So that really makes sense then um, once you guys kind of look back at it. Remember that when you guys are adding your pink arrows for the force, as long as they're pointing in the right direction, it doesn't matter whether you guys put them on the left or right of the object. But with the velocity, it really does matter if you guys um, put them in the wrong spot. Like if I were to take this guy and put it over here, that kind of suggests that my object is moving to the right and that you kind of just have this backwards anyway. So think of this as kind of like a tailwind. So you guys, if you want your object to move to the left, you guys would put this on the right and then you, make sure you guys choose like the right side, if you will. Okay. So moving on to the next one, you guys are doing the after force for this one. So it was moving to the left with a small velocity. We applied a small uh, force in the opposite direction. So they kind of cancel each other out and that's gonna stop that object from moving. You guys could have just left that blank. I just wanted to put a little placeholder on there. Um, so because we put an opposite force, um, we have that object stopping. Okay, on this one, we have a, we're doing the pink arrow for this one. So it was moving to the left with the small velocity. Now it's going to the left with the medium uh, velocity. So that means we had to apply our force in the same direction. So also to the left to get it to speed up. Uh, went from small to medium. So we're gonna do a small force to get it to go to small, me small to medium. Okay, uh, this one, you guys have your object is stopped. We're gonna model the after the force. So it stopped, we add a medium force to the right, so that means it's gonna start moving to the right with a medium velocity. Okay, so I grabbed the wrong side on that, not like it matters, okay. All right, next one, number seven on slide 13, we're gonna do the before force on this. So what we know is that our after force was moving to the right with a large velocity. We only applied a small force on it, so that means it must have been in the same direction, so it was moving to the left. We would go from a medium to the large with the small force, so we would put a medium velocity to the right on that. So you guys can see we got it to speed up by applying a force in the same direction. Okay, number eight. Okay, before, again, we're modeling the before, so we know that it's going a small force, uh, or excuse me, a small velocity to the left. Afterwards, we only applied a velocity to the right, so that means we're getting this object to slow down because we only applied a medium velocity on it, so that means it had to have been moving to the left with a large velocity. We did our medium force in the opposite direction, so that means it's going to slow down, so now it's just slowing to a small velocity. Okay, this one, we have a small velocity to the right. We apply a medium force to the left and that's gonna result in it turning around and changing directions and moving the opposite direction with a small velocity. So we should have done a medium arrow on that one. Okay, this one you're doing the during force as well. It was stopped. Okay, now it's moving to the left with a medium velocity. So that means that we would have had to start it moving using a medium force uh, to the left. Okay, this one, 
we are doing our after force, so it was moving to the left with the medium velocity. We're going to apply a force to the right with a small velocity, and that's going to just slow it down because we applied our force in the opposite direction, so it slows down to a small velocity going to the left still. Okay, this one we're doing our after force as well. It's moving to the left with the medium velocity. We're going to do a large force to the right. And that means it's not only going to slow down stop, but it's also going to turn around and move direction. So it's going to be going the opposite way with the small velocity. Okay, and then the last one, this is a before force one. We know that it's moving a large speed to the right. We only applied a medium force also to the right. So that means we would have just caused it to speed up because our velocity after is more than our force. So that means, uh, means it would have just been moving with a small velocity to the right. So if you look this over, uh, small velocity to the right, we add a force in the same direction, it causes it to speed up to a large velocity. Okay, so if you have any questions on those or you're confused about any of the answers of those, uh, feel free to just send me either a message and remind me later to come in and advise or maybe clarify some of those for you guys. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.